All right, if you come to this video, then you're like, hey, I have power, but I have no sound. Well, I'm gonna tell you what I did in order to fix it. So as you see, I got the harness. Um, I had, I looked at everything, I checked everything. Even the, even the numbers on this seemed wrong when I was using digital multimeter, but it wasn't the issue. The issue was, is there's an amp hidden back there that I didn't know was there. And you know, there was no harnesses attached to it. You know, on my old Taurus, there was a there was an amp in the very back and you know, it had its own set of wires. This one does not have its own set of wires. But when I found this harness wire, this is the blue and white wire. If you look on it, it says amp turn on. Um, this would be, a, hmm, I believe it's the white wire. Or not white wire, the blue wire, yes. So you see this empty, pocket right there in between the green black and the blue that is the antenna power wire which this car doesn't need an antenna power wire but this is the amp turn on which is the equivalent of this blue and white wire which I connected to the red wire which is um, only active when the car is active uh, I already had this taped up so what I did is I took the remote wire, which is actually, this is pretty soft, so super easy to cut into, and I connected it to that. And the reason I have a remote wire is for my subwoofer, which I'll be installing later. There you go. Trust me, connect the blue and white wire, or the amp turn on wire if you have a different colored wire, to the red wire, and it'll work. If not, I don't know what to tell you. There's so many other things that could be wrong, but that's the most likely going to be your issue.